the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. Two weeks, I don't know if it is two weeks or a week ago, I was talking about destiny. That there's no competition in what? In destiny. It's, it's because of time. And uh, I'm going to write a book concerning this one. There are now two books. But this one about destiny. We are going to write this one so that people can learn more about destiny. My preaching, because of time, may not be, you know, enough for you. But reading a book is going to help your mind to understand who you are. You did not come to this life by the means of our mother and father. No. It was God's will. Our mother and our father, they are just, you know, caretaker or the channel or the Lord or the real line for you to land here on earth. But the one who creates you is God Almighty. And before you were formed, because he conceived in his own mind, before your mom and your dad discovered at all, there's a child here in this house. God knew you. And he declared something about your life, which no one knows, not even your mom and your dad. But God knows who you are and who you become in the near future. This is why it is very, very important for all of us, for all of us to believe in our creator. Because that's where your destiny is. If you cannot believe in him, you don't know who you are. You don't know what you are doing. Which direction? Do you know your future or your career? Your mom and your dad may, you know, want you to be a teacher, a lawyer, a pilot. And yet, God declared something before you were formed that Josephine, Joseph, Patrick, you'll be this in the world. I am sending you there. Remember that even the world where you are, the, this world where you are, where you are claiming to be your own, it was God Almighty who created this world and give it to you. In each and every field, there is what you call rules and regulations. If you cannot follow those rules, then you are not qualified. You are in a long career. There is no competition in testing at all. This message, I was trying to avoid this one. I bring another one last Sunday. Then it came back to me. Look, you need to continue with this message. Your weakness is not your destiny. Your mistake is not your destiny. Because sometimes, because of your mistake, because of what you have done, then you start condemning yourself to say, my destiny is like this. I've been doing... Look at the, the two brothers, the first one who was talking about stealing. His life is not a criminal. Even the second brother, his life is not a fighter. But Satan possessed them to swap their destiny. In fact, before I lose this one, please, we need to support the other brother, the one who came from the prison. Those who, who are willing to support the brother, please, stand with me so that you, we back him up. Amen. Whatever you can do, do it. If you want to support him, after church service, whatever you can do, even inside the church, maybe after our mass prayer, you can declare your interest that this is what I want to do for this brother. Amen. This is what I want to do for this brother. As the Spirit leads, it is, I know that there are so many people are in need, but you, when it, you know it is a, an instruction from God Almighty, we need to follow that one. That brother needs our support. 
Remember, the brother inherited a long destiny from his father. His father put something in his blood. And he dedicated his blood to Satan to say, whoever is going to come out of my blood is your property. Even him, if he were to die in that prison, that daughter, the, the child he was talking about, would you not take over from him and he start misbehaving? It is not him, but a fake destiny. A fake what? Destiny. God never gave anyone a destiny of being a criminal. No. It is the mistake or the weakness. Take note of that one. Your mistake or your weakness. And your mistake is not your destiny. Your weakness. These are the things that Satan used in our flesh. Praise the Lord. So there is no competition at all. Please, stop, you know, wasting your time of talking about other people's destiny. Or envy other people's achievement. Other people's marriage or husband. Your own destiny was designed by God Almighty before you came to this life. Whether you like it or not, this is why if you ask inside the church, there are people who are calling maybe six certificates. They thought maybe I'm a teacher. They thought maybe I'm this, I'm this. Before you know it, just one certificate is recommended for you. But because of the situation that you find yourself, you pursue this one. You pursue this one. You pursue. Before you know it, you are having four certificates without what? Progress. Even someone who has never been to school, a quanka, eh, is doing something where you cannot even compare yourself. Your destiny was designed by God Almighty. Let me, because of time, I, may, uh, I said I'll be very brief, but this book, you are going to see this a small book or big or small, as the spirit leads, about no competition in what? In destiny. David was known to be what? A shepherd. And yet, in heaven, David was influenced as a great what? King. A warrior. Here, in his father's house, was known as a shepherd. But in heaven, David was enshrined to be a great king. A warrior. What they know about your life is not your destiny. But what God said before you come to this life is your destiny. Sometimes you know you trust people. You see people are following you, supporting you. You say, this is where my... No. Sometimes, yes, people may come to you and support you for a while. They are just pushing you to reach to another level. You find another train there. They will do their job, they will leave you. You find another train there. They will do their job. They will... Because that is, you are getting closer now to the point of what? Success. Your destiny is yours. No one can take it from you. It is in you, within you. I am standing here. The job that I am doing, if it is business or making money, I'll make a lot of money, you know, uh, physically. I'll be complaining, no, my salary is very low, it's what, and, but what I am doing, it, this is my destiny. I am not doing this for money, but for what? My destiny. I enjoy this. I feel good. Because it's, it's within me. It's part of me. So make no mistake. He knows you before you, you become who you have become today. Whether you are a lawyer, I used to say this, that even if you are a teacher, you are a minister, president, you are a human being created by God Almighty. What you have become today should not mislead you or deceive you that you are greater than anyone. No. Ask God, who are you in heaven? Who are you there? If you don't know who you are there in heaven, you are in a long journey. And Satan is going to use that one to bring you down. 
No one can stop your destiny because God is involved. Come on, people of God. You don't know what I'm talking about. I say no one can stop your destiny because God is involved. He's the one who declared you to be who you are today. What do I mean? What God said about your life cannot be stopped by Satan. Yes. Satan cannot stop you. Because God is part of that word. In his word, God is there. You are what you are because God is involved. L listen to the book of Jeremiah, the book that you know. Chapter 1, verse 4. The word of the Lord came to me. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart, appointed you as a prophet to the nations. You can go and read the old book if you like. You know the story about Jeremiah. God said, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I set you apart and appointed you as a prophet of what? Nations. The mother and the father did not know that what is in their house or in the wife's womb is a prophet. They just know him as a son. Are you there? They just know him as a son. But this word was declared in heaven that you are a prophet. I have set you apart that you be a prophet of so many what? Nations. This is the boy in the house by the name of Jeremiah. The mother did not know that I'm pregnant for a prophet. The father did not know that my wife is carrying a prophet. But the book there in heaven declared Jeremiah as a prophet of so many what? Nations. What God declared about your life is what you become. He became, you know, a very powerful word. They tried to kill what Jeremiah. Go and read the Bible. They did all means to, you know, to bring him down. But because God was involved in his destiny, they could not kill him. Until he became what? The prophet of so many what? Nations. Why do you fear witches and wizards? Why do you fear ancestral? Why do you fear satanists? They are not part of your destiny. They can't even enter heaven and remove your destiny there. They cannot. Inga shishimutina tetshe kumulu. No kuya bula mwele satwa chinjo utrefo humwipaya mailo. It's a lie. They are not part of your destiny. He said, I knew you. Tell me, if you are the mother or father claiming anything of that child, do you know your child? That's why you can't have a doctor, you can't have a president. Because if you are if you knew that this, this boy will be a president, can you deny that child? No. You grab is my child. In heaven, God is declaring something that you are a president. You're the man who is responsible for that pregnancy, rejecting you that I don't know anything about this pregnancy. Carry the child. I say carry the child. Don't mind the behavior of that man. Carry the child. You are carrying a destiny changer in your family. There is no question about your destiny. No question. Whether you like it or not, God already declared you to be who you be. Whatever people are saying, those who are mocking you, you are a prostitute. That prostitution was for a while. In heaven, you are not a prostitute. I say in heaven, they don't know you as a prostitute. They know you as a minister. They know you as a business lady. You are a doctor in heaven. 
in Jesus name yes what people say about you should not disturb you no sometimes people can call you any name if you call me a satanist a what I will not mind you because I've already discovered myself in the hands of God Almighty so what you are saying is your business my business is to conquer my destiny is to follow the destiny where I'm going to shine like a morning star are you there he said I knew you before Jesus in Shinachita declared that Mulenga, you are my servant. But as some whoever did not fumo at me, Shinga, you see, me, she, and I need to run and she should hang an evening and you more. In heaven, they already declared me a prophet, an apostle of God. Here they are just no quarreling, no minister one jebele. If you name Shufuaya, what and what in Ganavish, what in prophet, it will land upon you. Kwamba if you are oh, prophet is a Munganda, prophet is a. But they knew nothing about your coming here on earth. They will start asking themselves. At the end of the day, you become a great person. You know, knowing that the Moki Paramika Munto Valela and that Nikabuala and Angola Nindosh. Eh? Quit my time. Padile Sanga, Gavalanga destiny over Yambo Kusha in a Uri wants one of our brother, one of our sister. It's my young brother, it's my uncle, it's what? It's what? Before now, no one knows who you are. That's why some of you, you have gone through a lot of rejection. Don't mind them. I said, don't mind them. Don't mind them. Your destiny is your destiny. There is no competition. Na mufenga mule pike mbalala nga mwishitishe fiumbu. Nga ni destiny ya ni mwenga mwaipika abantu wakala umfuwa wino. Nga mwaipika chikanda. Abantu wakala itashani. I told you here that you know sometimes umuntu wa shishia felimbi. Umunkoyo na ngu chikanda. Umunkoyo asangia mwechupu wechisuma. Munko of your winning. Ah, Munko, any mom we pick up. Munish we pick it at. Ah, we both have your matavana, Mulende Telaco. Mulay Station. After Mulende Telaco, now we shall have your own That is your destiny. Mumunko ya uri awine wa isango lensha. Ule kontuela mumuishi. Wale kumba muambo kontola makia. Mumunko yo. That is your destiny. There is no question about that one. Ichi li chonse cho ule chita chifule chaku tuwala. Yes. There you became successful. Come on people of God. The Bible says, I knew you before, not after you were born. Before, you are just a blood inside your mother's womb. God knew you that you'll be this, you'll be that. Why are you wasting your time thinking about the situation around you? Think about that, that place there in heaven. Ask your father who I am in your hands. He will tell you, take your time. You are not a failure. You are not what? Your destiny is your destiny. Those who are trying to copy what you are doing, they are just wasting your time. Even you don't copy anyone. Be original. When you become original, you become successful. Tamwa manako muntu pianga mofe se aupa kuri ba boss. Oh, oh, tamfish me findela ndako. Tamwa manako womba pansi aupa mwa na waba boss. Sometimes, you know, let's if you are to Pekanya, if you are to Pitamo, to understand if you are to let Pitamo, that you should understand if you are to Pekanya. There is no competition in destiny. Praise the Lord. And I'm praying to God that this book will be a nice book for all of us. We need to discover ourselves. Is it my destiny? 
Is it a, this life that uh, you know I'll, I'll die like this? No, it's for a while. I knew you. The word came to Jeremiah. Let's go to Genesis because of time. Let me just read Genesis 15. Genesis 15. After this, verse 1, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your very great reward. But Abraham said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? And the one who inherit my estate is Eliezer of Damascus. Three. And Abraham said, you, <laughs> you have given me no children. So a servant in my household who inherit my property. Verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came to him. This man will not be, I mean, will not inherit your property. But a son who is from your own flesh and blood who inherit your property. Praise the Lord. He took him outside and he said, look up at the sky and count the stars. If indeed you can count them, then he, he said to him, so shall your offspring. I don't want to talk about this one. I talked about Abraham the other week. He was complaining that my servant will be the one who inherit my properties. But the Bible says that no, it is your son from your own flesh who inherit your property. And he took him outside and showed him the sky to say, count the stars. Can you count the stars? You can't even count. He said, this is, you know, your offspring. What God said about your life is final. It's final. Those who are telling me that you are a barren woman, you cannot give birth. Is it in heaven? or the mouth of a human being? Which one can you trust? A human being or your father in heaven? There is no, he knew you before you became a human being. Your father and your mom did not even know whether they conceived a baby boy or a baby girl. But this is the baby boy. This is the baby girl. It is now you are running to this machine where you go and screen your boy to say, ah, you are calling a baby girl or a baby. But even before you go to any hospital, God knew that the one inside your home is a baby girl. No competition in destiny. Is final. I told you. Now, told you. That that one is finished. That is the time God is going to now rise from his throne. I am Bokwenda Mubumi Bobe. No but my name is Jehovah Shama. Yahweh, the Holy One of the Israel. Go and shine now. Before they knew it, you are shining. No competition in what? Tell your neighbor, no competition in destiny. Say it again, I can't hear you. Yes. No competition. Don't pay attention to any human being. Love everyone, but trust only what? The giver of your destiny. Your mother and your father are not the giver of your destiny. They are just a channel of landing here on earth. The destiny giver is Jehovah Shama. Yahweh, the only one of the Israel. What he said about the Israelites up to today, they are still there. He told Abraham, leave your mom, your word, your father, go and possess that land. People of God, you can measure yourself, but you cannot measure 
the power of God over your life. No competition in what? Let me end there. But I'm, I'm still pregnant with this message. And I'm believing God that once you discover that in your destiny, you are not a failure, you will be courageous. You will not mind what you are going through, the treatment that you are facing. But if you are to life, like personally, if I start to know sharing my own testimony, some of you can even cry. But I discovered myself at, you know, a tender age. I have never fought anyone from my childhood. I don't know what you go fight. I don't know. I discovered myself. I said, no, this is not, uh, my way is this way. And I followed that way. Immediately you knew that this is not the way of life. The way of life is this way. There you are on your destiny. Le Sophia Pango Muntu, Muntu fi ori onso wa bapa chalo le sadi landire pwenchi. Ishi we before the life span upa. So the day she when you see it, your destiny over. Iri omuani eka lapo ngachagua tauri muri lesa. No competition in what. So fighting your friend, your brother, you are wasting your time. You have your own what? Destiny. Gossiping about that marriage. You are wasting your time. Focus on your destiny. God bless you.